Asylums and mental institutions are a historic and important part of the world's journey to understand and treat some of the most upsetting and debilitating conditions that plague mankind. Though these institutions were opened and operated with the best of intentions, many degraded into barbaric practices, experiments and malpractice. In this video we take a look at our top 5 list of the creepiest and most disturbing mental institutions. Let's begin. Number 5. Danvers Lunatic Asylum, Massachusetts. Part prison, part asylum, this gothic monolith opened in 1878 to house mentally unstable criminals. Due to the influx of the mentally handicapped, alcoholics and criminals, it became so severely understaffed by the 1930s that patients' deaths were often not discovered until days later when they were found rotting in some forgotten corner. Shock therapy and lobotomies were standard procedures and the asylum is known by some as the birthplace of the prefrontal lobotomy but a large cemetery on site suggests these procedures were not always successful. This huge gothic building was constructed in the 1870s as a home for the mentally ill and criminally insane, aiming to treat its residents with kindness and compassion, though soon enough rumours began to spread about the possibly inhumane treatments going on behind its doors. Some theorise that the doctors were resorting to various methods like overdosing patients on insulin and violent shock treatment with the intent to kill just to control the population. Number 4. Buffalo State Asylum, Buffalo, New York. Opened in 1880 near the heart of Buffalo, New York, the hospital was revolutionary in its day. Like many of the insane asylums built during this period, the Buffalo State Asylum was opened with the best intentions for its patients, only to fail them in the end. It was hoped to advance the design of mental facilities by separating patients by gender and severity of illness. In a typical Kirkbridge building, a central administration building stands front and centre, with long infirmary wings extending off either side, providing fresh air and sunlight to all of the patients' rooms. Prior to this design, the mentally ill were often housed in county jails and in the basements of public buildings, where they were often neglected and forgotten. Unfortunately, even a well-intended vision couldn't prevent the abuse and mistreatment. Overcrowding and lack of funding often left patients sleeping in faecal soil bedding, with little to no care. The Buffalo State Asylum for the Insane was a prime example of this. The hospital was so overpacked that many patients slept on top of one another in tiny beds covered in filth. The Buffalo State Asylum has been closed down since 1974, but whispers of the dead can still be heard behind the towering brick walls. Thrill seekers risking arrest for trespassing report hearing blood curdling screams echoing down the abandoned hallways. Some have reported that the interior of the hospital looks as though it was evacuated swiftly, leaving behind rusting metal beds, equipment, and even a dollhouse sitting in the middle of the floor, serving as a haunting reminder of the lives that pass through the arched brick doorways. Treatment for the mentally ill during this era consisted of nothing more than inhumane experiments. Doctors would cut into patients' heads and incapacitate portions of the brain, turning them into living zombies. Other methods involved frying their brains with electricity or submerging them in tubs of water for hours on end. It's no wonder some of them continue to haunt the facilities. Number three. The Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, Western West Virginia. Construction of the Trans-Allegheny began in 1858 near the then small town of Weston and was completed in 1881. Even though facilities such as this were to usher in a new, more modern era for treatment of the insane, treatment methods and living conditions of more than a hundred years ago were often brutal, cruel, even monstrous and depraved. Treatment of mental disorders was not well understood in the late 1800s, and even as time progressed into the 20th century, a number of shockingly barbaric treatments would come and go, including a crude form of electroshock therapy, lobotomies and bizarre chemical treatments. From the very beginning, hints of paranormal activity surrounded the establishment of Trans-Allegheny. For example, in one case, a nurse mysteriously went missing while on duty at the asylum. Her rotting body was found two months later at the bottom of a stairwell in an obscure corner of the building. After a few decades of operation, reports of hauntings and the sounds of restless souls of the miserable undead became commonplace. Some workers lasted only a few days after hearing inexplicable noises, such as the squeaky wheels of gurneys rolling along a tiled hallway. Also common are the throaty moans and bone-chilling hysterical laughter, all emanating from rooms on floors that were otherwise empty of any living soul. The number of apparitions spotted in the vast confines of the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum are too numerous to mention. Those that have cited them include doctors, management, personnel, nurses, aides, orderlies, and even janitors. 
number two. Whittingham Hospital, Lancashire, United Kingdom. Whittingham Hospital was a psychiatric hospital near Lancashire, England. The hospital officially opened on the 1st of April 1873, although 115 patients had already been admitted there in the previous year, some of whom helped with the building work. The large complex was completed in June 1875 and had an initial capacity of 1,100 inmates. On the 18th of July 1967, the Student Nurses Association held a meeting with the senior nursing tutor, submitting serious complaints of cruelty, ill treatment and fraud in the hospital. Several further complaints were suppressed until the following year, when the Hospital Management Committee finally intervened and announced an inquiry into allegations of corruption and abuse. The inquiry heard, among others, the following complaints. Patients had been left untreated, that some patients had been locked outside regardless of weather conditions or in washrooms and cupboards, that in one ward, students had witnessed patients being dragged about by their hair, that on Ward 3, a male ward, patients were given wet towel treatment, which involved twisting a cold wet towel or bedsheet around a patient's neck until the patient lost consciousness. On Ward S2, another male ward, it was alleged that two male nurses had poured methylated spirits into the slippers of one patient and into the dressing gown pocket of another and set them alight. While no paranormal activity had been reported in the now dilapidated asylum, the actions of the staff and treatment of the patients is just as dark and disturbing. Number one. Waverly Hill Sanatorium, Kentucky. The Waverly Hill Sanatorium is located in southwestern Jefferson County, Kentucky. It opened in 1910 as a two-story hospital to accommodate tuberculosis patients, as the early 1900s saw Jefferson County ravaged by an outbreak of tuberculosis which prompted the construction of a new hospital. The hospital closed in 1961 after the development of a highly successful drug to combat the disease. Waverly Hills has its fair share of dark events and paranormal phenomena, including a local myth about the death of a nurse by murder or suicide in room 502. Legend says the nurse found out she had fallen pregnant by the owner of the sanatorium without being married and had also contracted tuberculosis, so she hanged herself with electrical wire outside the room she was in at the time. Paranormal happenings are said to be tied to room 502 and attempts to document the phenomena have been made by several paranormal investigative teams. Further legends claim that over 9,000 deaths occurred at the sanatorium. According to official records, the highest number of deaths in a single year at Waverly Hills was 152, and the highest total number of deaths possible over 50 years of the hospital operating was approximately 8,212. So that was our list of top 5 most disturbing asylums and hospitals. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe as this will allow the channel to grow and continue to provide more regular content. Check back again for our next video on top 5 spectral animals. Until next time.